Hello and welcome to Basic Medical Sciences. If this is your first time, please make sure you subscribe so that you won't miss any of our latest videos. Right, so in this video we are going to talk about our Group B Streptococcus, also known as Streptococcus agalactia. Right, firstly, before I go any further, if you hear Group B, think baby. If you see that B, group B, think baby, right? Because this bacteria usually uh, cause infections in babies, as you are going to see, right? So let's get into it, right? So this bacteria colonizes the human GIT and uh, genital tracts. It's a facultative anaerobe, uh, and in bacterial culture, it causes beta hemolysis. And the other thing in terms of hemolysis, there is a test called CAMP test. Tough Oreos cause beta hemolysis, right? So this CAMP factor is used to test if the Streptococcus agalacti is, is there, right? So if it is there, it will increase the area of hemolysis caused by Staph Oreos. I think you get it now. Right. The other thing you need to know is uh, it has a polysaccharide capsule and it's positive hippurate, right? So it's hippurate positive. So hippurate test, uh, you know, this bacteria can actually uh, hydrolyze sodium hippurate. Yeah, just know that. And as I said in the previous video, uh, in the previous video, we were talking about group A streptococcus. So, group A streptococcus is bacitracin sensitive, while at least group B streptococcus is bacitracin resistant. Simple as that. Now, let's talk about uh, the conditions caused by group B streptococcus, right? As I said before, if you hear B, just think babies, right? So uh, here I have uh, three neonatal infections, neonatal meningitis, neonatal sepsis, and neonatal pneumonia. Right. Uh, a few words about neonatal meningitis. You need to know that this bacteria, uh, group B streptococcus, with two more bacteria, which we are going to cover later, which are Listeria monocytogenes and E. coli. Right. So these three bugs... Uh, group B streptococcus, Listeria monocytogenes, and E. coli. These three bugs cause infections in infants below three months. Or we can say three months and below. Okay. Simple as that. Uh, right. And the other thing is like, um, as I said before, uh, women actually carry these bugs uh, vaginally. So what can happen is like, Firstly, here I want to talk about uh, some new cases which are being reported as uh, non-pregnant women, right, and other adults. So this bacteria can actually cause uh, bacteremia uh, and also pneumonia. But you need to remember this point. It's usually uh, as a result of a, a coexistent medical condition like people with uh, uh, diabetes, malignancy and other conditions like liver or renal failure, etc., right? But in most cases, I say group B, think baby, and think about these conditions, right? And for pregnant women, we are going to see it, right? So how is it transmitted to the baby? It's transmitted during uh, delivery. Uh, so what should happen is like uh, at 35 weeks of pregnant, we should culture the rectal or vaginal swabs, right, to see if the patient is actually carrying uh, group B streptococcus because about 25% of women, 25% of pregnant women, they carry this bug, right? So if it is present, then we should give intrapartum penicillin, intrapartum penicillin, right? Uh, to our summary again so you know our story already we covered all these bacteria stuff oreo stuff epidemides pneumonia and we covered uh streptococcus pyogenes and in this video uh we covered 
Streptococcus agalactiae, also known as group B. Right, so in our next video, we are going to cover uh, the enterococcus and then we'll be done with, uh, with cocci. So stay tuned. So if you found this video interesting, please make sure you subscribe so that you won't miss any of our latest videos because we will be uploading videos almost each and every day. Almost each and every day. Thanks so much. Thank you for watching. Please share with your friends. Leave a comment on the comment section and give the video a thumbs up.